Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Foxes and Frills and today I'm gonna do a kind of Lolita wardrobe tour. All of the pieces that I collected throughout 2021, uh, which if you've been here from the beginning you may know this last year was my first year as a Lolita. I literally started like right at the very very end of December of 2020. Yep, time is weird. Um, and then uh, started this channel to kind of like document my experience as a new Lolita in the Lolita community and wearing this fashion. So this was it. I got I, I got a pretty decent amount, I think, for one year. Um, so let me just walk you through it. Um, we won't go through every piece because some of the pieces here are Channing's. I can still like pop them out, but they're not mine and I'll tell you which ones. So, um, let's see. I have my <laughs> wardrobe, which is just one standing rack, and uh, hopefully when we're in a bigger place, I'll have room for more. Um, I've got all the petticoats down here, some blouses in various colors, JSKs, and then OPs mixed together. So I'm not really going to go through any of these things. I think I'm just going to go through the JSKs. Those are like, you know, the main showcase if we're all being honest. Um, so let's get started. I think I'll go in chronological order of when I got all of them. So if you've seen my like first ever Lolita cord video, um, you would know that my, the one that I got at the very end of December of 2020 was a birthday gift from Channing to me. And it was this Infanta Velvet, it's like honey candy velvet JSK in red. And this is still like a huge favorite of mine. And while I technically got it in 2020, I mean, I didn't really wear it until 21. So, you know, I think it counts. Um, if you're interested at all in seeing close-ups of this and seeing how I cord it, uh, please go ahead and check out the video. I've linked it below in the description. I love this. I love the velvet. It's so warm. It's very simple because it doesn't have any patterns. It's really just about like the texture of the material and all of these beautiful lace details that pop out against the dark, dark red. So I just love this and this bow is detachable. Yeah, such a cute piece. I just love this skirt. I believe the first piece I bought for myself, so I had a, a few different things that I ordered all at the same time. Some of them were through Glitzy Wonderland and some of them were on Lace Market. I think the very next thing to arrive that I got to wear was one of my absolute favorite, I don't know why, I just feel like a friggin' princess in this dress. But this is Alice and the Pirates Rapunzel JSK. And uh, just like the bows that are laced down the sides um, with these gauzy light lavender ribbons and these beautiful vines and this bow and this lace. I just, I am so blown away by this, this JSK. I, I just love it so much and I wish I had more of a reason to wear it. I'm like so excited for spring in a few months. I mean it's like I, wanna, I won't really be able to wear this comfortably until maybe April but oh my gosh I cannot wait. It is such a beautiful piece and my hair is longer this year and so I really want to wear it with my own hair um, instead of the wig that I wore with it when I wore it last year. So. Anyway, yeah, this is this piece, and of course I have a video with close-ups and a cord video, so go ahead and check out the description below for that if you want to see all of the beautiful details that this dress has. <sighs> Alice and the Pirates might be my favorite. Like, I just... And, and I love more the more drop waist on their styles. I just think they're so, so beautiful. <laughs> 
The next piece I got after that was, I believe it was Infanta's Astrology Bears on Glitzy Wonderland. I kind of like went down a Glitzy Wonderland rabbit hole because that's where Channing had gotten my Red Velvet Honey JSK uh, from Infanta. And so I was like, well, I love this one, so I'm going to get more from them. So the next one I got was this Astrology Bears JSK in like light blue. Um, <laughs> this is definitely a dusty lavender, but it's so pretty and like this color is really good with my skin tone. So I decided to uh, just keep it and I think it's so pretty. I got this really beautiful bow that I just leave clipped on at the top. Um, and I love the bears. I just love bears. I think they're my favorite animal to be themed in a cord, so I just love this one so much and I feel like I'm like a celestial princess, like living on a cloud with some bears. It's so, so sweet. And along with that order, but this one kind of came separately, it arrived separately, I had also ordered this, um, it's like rabbit tea time, cat, rabbit and cat tea time? by Infanta, something like that. I'll have the proper name <laughs> here. Um, I, this is probably one of my ones that I'm just kind of like meh about, which is pretty rare for me. Um, I think it kind of bugs me that it doesn't have any kind of inner lining under the skirt. Uh, so you can like really see the texture of your petticoat through it uh, if you have anything that's like maybe got some like wiring or boning or something like that um, so I feel like I need to get a second skirt for this but also uh, they they were out of a medium which is what I usually order so I risked it and I got a small and like it fits because it's fully shirred but it's still kind of tight and like not that comfortable and I can't see it, it's like the white is like a milky white, it doesn't match my white blouses, it doesn't match my creamier blouses. I just can't seem to like get a good rhythm with this piece and it's frustrating me because I was so excited when I first got it and I'm just not that wild about it anymore. So I don't know, maybe you'll see a chord for me with this piece uh, or maybe it'll be posted on Lace Market. Well, we will see. <laughs> but that is this one and it's not to say that it's not a really pretty piece, like it's just not my personal taste I guess out of all of the pieces I have. So yeah, continuing on. The next piece I got I think was my first OP. This one is Angelic Pretty. I do not really have any other pieces to go with this at this point in time. I don't have a good headpiece for this, um, but I do have some like, you know, okay shoes, but not maybe the shoes that I like dream of having to go with this. So this little beauty has not really seen life outside of this rack, unfortunately. <laughs> this rack, unfortunately. But I, it is still such a beautiful piece and I do really, really love it. And you know, someday when I finally get all of the pieces that will satisfy what I envision for this cord, you will see a cord video. <laughs> but in the meantime, if you think this is really pretty and you wanna see more details about it, please go ahead and check out my unboxing video linked in the description below. And you can also check out my Instagram I have a lot of like close-ups of all of the different lace throughout this dress. You will see kind of like the same lace patterns in different spots and then other lace patterns in different spots and they just kind of all flow throughout the dress and connect. So uh, if you're interested at all in seeing that beautiful detail, check out my Instagram for those. She's got this cute little bustle. I love her. I love her. She's so silky. So, oh my gosh, how could I have forgotten? I think before I got that OP, I got my Angelic Pretty Dreaming Present JSK in black. <sighs> this one's a beauty. This is kind of like, the vibe is a really, really different than the Rapunzel JSK from Alice and the Pirates. 
but kind of like they're right up together. I love them both so much. Like how much I love that one is very close to how much I love the other one, but they're so, so different. So highly recommend watching the unboxing and cord video for this one. I think I wrapped them together into one video so you can see the details and see how I finished this cord. It's honestly one of my proudest pieces. I worked so hard to get all of the different uh, pieces I wanted for this to all go together and it came out so good. I got the cutest bear shoes and the cutest bear KC and I also recommend you check out my Instagram for photos of the finished cord because they're just so cute and I love them. So I love this. I love the little teddy bears and the coffee and the candy and the cakes. And like these buttons and this bow are so freaking cute. And the lace is this cute little polka dot lace. Anyway, like I said, if you want, and this scallop, I'm sorry, okay. For real, if you want to see the details, which you should, because this is such, such a cute piece, you should check out that video. So, um, one of the other pieces I got around this time, this was all spring. I like went on such a spree. I went on, I went so freaking crazy on Lolita and just like spent all of it in those first few months, like from January to April, like I bought so many different pieces. And it took me forever to like get the blouses and everything else I needed to round them out. I was just buying JSKs and OPs, like mostly JSKs nonstop. So anyway, um, so I also got another, I loved that Alice in the Pirate dress so much that I had to have another. So I was looking around Lace Market to try to see if I could see any others I really liked. And I saw this, um, Royal Crowns TJSK in black. I love this piece. It's got, again, I love the velvet. We're here for the velvet. It's never going out of style. Uh, this really pretty shimmery gold lace and braiding. Um, I love it so much. And by the time I got this, I think it was almost spring. And so, and like I said, I didn't have anything to go with it yet. It took me the whole year of 2021 to finally get all of the pieces I wanted. I think it took me until November and I didn't actually put it all on together until December. After all of the time I spent getting all of the different pieces from different brands uh, to kind of finally complete this cord, I was so proud. Oh my gosh. It's, I mean, it's right up there with Dreaming Present where I spent forever trying to find all of the perfect pieces but this one took me even longer it was not as simple uh to me as i had first thought when i saw this so check that out it's again linked in the description below and for the really cool makeup that i did with this i don't know it's not really that cool but i really liked it, it was different for me and i was really proud of how it came out i felt like i looked so just like oh and for pictures of that, go on my Instagram. <laughs> um, but yes, I hope you guys like that. And there is an unboxing for this as well, also linked below if you just wanted to like see more about the JSK. So in late spring, early summer, I think Violet Fane had just released uh, this particular set. Channing and I both really, really liked it. So this one is called Otome Nostalgia by Violet Fane. And we just loved the like vintage vibes this one was giving with all of the kind of nostalgic toys and themes and art of like 1950s themes. There's little um, purses and lunch boxes, I think, and books and little dolls and baby dolls and little tins with your pens and pencils. And this amazing heart belt. I would say my only complaint for this one is that the heart belt can kind of slide and I like mine. I like my waist. If I'm gonna wear a belt on my waist like I want it to be pretty cinched and like give that shape and this one does slide a bit and I do have to keep kind of like pulling it back but the lace on this is so amazing. The There's little heart lace and these beautiful rose buttons uh, uh, maybe I'll do a cord video soon. 
but it's so sweet it really is <laughs> I know it's really it got really popular too I didn't even like it at first I so like something about it bothered me I almost didn't like that it was so 50s but it just kept showing up on my Instagram and everybody was wearing it when I would see it on other people instead of just looking at the dress when I would see it completely like styled and put together with like a cute little sweater or something, I just thought it was really cute and it ended up really growing on me. And then when Channing said they liked it too, I was like, well, perfect. <laughs> so we got it together. And that's like a nice one for the summer too, because you don't have long sleeves underneath and it's like really nice and light and silky. So it, it, it's a really good one. Let's see, what else? Ah, uh, yes, around maybe March, I learned about Dell Inspired. I had bought like a few accessories, but no main pieces yet through them. And this one kept showing up. I can't remember if it was in my Instagram ads or just like kept showing up in the suggested when I would be scrolling through Dell Inspired. I think it was called like Amanita Mascara, which is I think the scientific name for a mushroom. But anyways, I just loved the models in this one and this one is just a skirt but it's got these overalls and I got a matching blouse and a uh, vest so I got the full set with this one. Oh my gosh it's one of my most like cottage core ones and I really like it if you want to know what all of the text says which I highly recommend because it's pretty entertaining. Please check out my cord, my unboxing and cord video for this, or maybe they're two different ones. You can check out my unboxing and my cord video so you can see how all the pieces look together and the detail shots of this. I will link them in the description below, but I just love this one and I wore my brown curly wig when I corded it and it just looks so freaking cute. I just wanted to walk around a forest and pick mushrooms and have a picnic in the woods and talk to fairies. Like that's all I wanted to do in this dress. So cute. So I, I do have one other piece that I got in 2021, finally in the fall, uh, cause I had to pause on buying more Lolita while Channing and I moved. Um, <laughs> moving is very expensive, or at least it was for us. And I really had to press pause on my, you know, extra spending money to save back up all of the money we spent for moving. So it wasn't until, so I had this huge gap. I bought almost all, everything I showed you, I think I bought before April. And then I did not buy anything again until October. I'm not going to show you yet because I have like this whole little video series about this piece. Um, that I filmed but I haven't edited and posted yet so I'm not going to show you what it is but just know there is one other piece in my wardrobe that I got last year and I just can't show you right now. <laughs> Why not for funsies I'll, I'll show you what Channing got. Uh, just a couple of pieces. Channing got this gorgeous Atelier Pierrot. I just stuck this here. Uh, I think it's a really cute piece to make it a little more gothic but this gorgeous Atelier Pierrot dress. Uh, it's a dark, dark kind of burgundy red wine color with this beautiful black overskirt that matches the black lace up here. I am obsessed. This is kind of like how I feel about the Rapunzel with the gauzy ribbon shirt throughout the front. Um, I love this little ribbon. This needs to be tied on this side, but it's just so cute. So this is really beautiful. I tried it on once uh, last October because none of my pieces are very gothic and I just thought it was really pretty. And then Channing has one other one. This is Cat Sword... Cat Swordsman JSK in black by Atelier Piero. I did do a cord video for this. Channing let me borrow this for a video and it's super cute. I really liked how it turned out. So for a cord video for that, go ahead and check out the description below. I think that is everything. So yeah, one year down as a Lolita. I <laughs> have loved the experience so far. I love all of my pieces. The one kind of sad side of it is that 
with the reality of the world right now, I haven't been able to like go to any meetups or you know if there have been any I haven't felt comfortable going so I haven't really got to connect with other Lolitas in person which is something I'm really looking forward to and looked forward to when I first kind of learned about the fashion so hopefully as things get better I'll be able to do that um, and you know I'm also just like <laughs> I, I will wear pretty much anything out in public, but for some reason the idea of wearing Lolita out in public freaks me out. I wore the Otome Nostalgia dress once on a date with Channing to an art museum and I felt comfortable with that because it was kind of like uh, more modern art and I kind of felt like I matched the museum. So I felt comfortable in that. But for some reason, like wearing anything else out, it kind of like freaks me out. So I need to get used to that. And I think I was hoping to start by going to things with other Lolitas, which would make me feel more comfortable. So, but anyways, you know, it's part of the journey and it has just been such a joy and such a great form of self-expression for me over the last year and it helped me boost my creativity and my excitement about fashion. So. I'm really thankful that I got started with this and I'm thankful for all of you that have been following me this first year. I really appreciate everyone's support and like all of the comments that I've gotten, probably not a lot compared to other people, but I'm just like having so much fun just making these videos and posting them and putting together the chords. and. It's just nice to get to engage with people and I am just happy that there there is anybody that appreciates my content. So <laughs> thank you all for watching. Please stick around. I've got lots more exciting videos coming up in this new year. You guys are the best. If you like this video, <laughs> hit the like button. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel and you want to see more content, please hit the subscribe button below and follow me on Instagram, like I said a million times already earlier in this video. <laughs> Alright, thanks everybody, bye!